Hi everyone, welcome back. It's the second Saturday of the month and we are back with the Smithy Stampers Video Hope. So this is a video hope by myself and some of my team ladies. And um, I'm saying ladies because they don't have any gents in it as yet. So we are on 11th of November and the theme is festive. So I thought I would make a, a little um, gift box and I'll show you exactly what that is now please do visit the other um the other demonstrators that are in my team the descriptions in the description box below the links for their videos so we're going to make something similar to this it's a really easy um little festive gift idea i'm not quite ready to go all out christmas cards this yet so we're going to use pretty peacock st um cardstock and we are using this gorgeous uh, One Horse Open Sleigh online exclusive designer series paper. We are also using the Modern Oval Punch, which is my, one of my newest punches. And the sentiment for Christmas that I'm going to use, initially I had wanted to use this one. Um, but it didn't quite fit in here and I'll show you how you can kind of figure that out just by kind of measuring it up by the eye so i had used a different stamp set i had used the merry and bright i like this block effect i also have do 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 trucking along um so there's a couple of sentiments on there we actually have the horse and sleigh that goes with the paper so i might actually use that um i also have so very merry Tis the season to be jolly. That's quite nice as well. And I have a whole box of new goodies that I've not even played with yet. So let's do this. Horse and sleigh. So this is part of that online exclusive. Right. Let's do this. Now, this is a really easy little box. So it is one and a half inches. wide by two and a half inches in height so let me figure this out in my head so we need cardstock to be we want one and a half inches for the base so that would mean we need it to be four inches by you can get a few out of sheet paper four inches by one two three four six and a half okay so what we need to do first score we're going to do is at um one and a half so move your blade out the way so there's one and a half that's going to the, be the bottom we're then going to do half an inch for the glue tab then we're going to do two then we're going to do three and a half And then we're going to do five. So we've got one, two, three, four panels at one and a half. The base is one and a half. And this is a glue tab. Okay, what I want to do is I want to cut up um, this gorgeous paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually trim. Um, I'm going to trim an inch off of the top because I want this this bit to feature. Okay, so we're going to need four panels that measure. Now, the height of the box is two and a half, so we need it to be two and three eighths. Okay, and we're going to cut it and stick it on so it flows round. Um, one and a half is the width of each panel, so we need one and three eighths. So there's the first panel. Second panel. And you can see how the gorgeous trees, we're still capturing those in the um, cuts here. So, let me see now. There we go. So, one, two, three, and four. And I'll keep those in order. Okay, so I'm going to stick it all together. It's a really, really quick, easy project. So, if you get your little snips, 
Okay, this is a glue tab, so we're just going to mitre the corner ever so slightly. We're going to remove this smallest um, piece. Okay, so this is going to be the fold to adhere it together. I'm just going to take a little tiny triangle out of um, each of these tabs at the bottom up to the first score line. Well, up to the only score line. <laughs> Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. What we're going to do now is we are going to attach, um, I think I'll use tearing tape for this glue tab. Okay, um, what we're going to pinch that off with. Let's do that, there we go. Right, so we can stick our little panels on now. And then we can fold and burnish. Or you can fold and burnish first, whatever your little heart desires. So, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been, generally, as soon as autumn hits, it's um, a really busy time of year for everyone, isn't it? It's quite hard to um, keep up with um, all the blogs and things like that. Um, but given that this is the... My own team one that um, I've started. Um, this is the, going to be a priority. So, sometimes there might only be one or two. There might be more. Um, but the whole purpose is to encourage my team to do their videos and encourage them to um, keep inspiring their viewers and for me to do the same. So there's our little scene. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So, we want to fold and burnish. Now, where did I put my bone folder? Here we go. And like I say, really easy and quick to make. And if I remember, I will pop up the measurements as I'm talking through them on this video. Um, I'll do that at the edit editing stage. So, what we do is we fold that in there, okay, and we're going to attach this panel to this little glued section. And it's always nice, it uh, lines up perfectly when you have um, a box that has the same distance on each, or well, same width on each, each of its sides. So, just give it another little fold there. Perfect. What we want to do now is we want to glue each of our panels down okay just using wet glue I'm going to use this little um, body lotion moisturizer that I have here I'm going to pop this in as a little gift these make perfect little stocking fillers do, 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 do. perfect I love it now this is sitting a little bit low down um, it's better designed this little box for a little miniature body shop item or what have you but what you can do is you can get some tissue paper now i have i have some here this is a um, plasticky stuff so what i'll do is i'll just add some in the bottom um enough to give it a little bit more height in fact i'll not use that i will use paper um, paper one. Now I usually recycle these from um, my Sensi because I sometimes buy, I don't do Sensi anymore but I still buy it off my friend. Um, when you get the whiff box you get all this recyclable packaging. Look at that. Ta -da! Push it down a little bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, I just collect them. Um, I do the um, glossy box as well, and as usual, I save that too. So yeah, it's all round. It's good. Right now, what we need to do now is we need a six by six or a C six um, cello bag. Okay, and all we're going to do 
is cut off the top. You will need some tearing tape as well or your stamping seal. So we're going to pop this in here, like so. Right, let's roll my sleeves up because this is a bit that I need to get right. So we are going to tie it round and then tie it in a knot. Okay, so this was a little bit this was a little bit easier doing it on a gift a gift bottle that has an easier top on it. So you might need to just either use a bigger bag. You can tell I haven't um, rehearsed this. <laughs> Um, use a bigger bag, like a taller cello bag, or just take your time. <laughs> you know that I uh, often don't take my time when I'm doing my videos because I don't want to keep you here too long. So just um, try and tie that with one hand while scrabbing. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. There. Now, as long as that's not going to fall off, I'm happy. We're going to put a tag on it as well. So we need to leave a little bit of room for a bow as well. If you have actual, um, actual, actual proper cello wrap, um, you can make, the, make this a little bit more neat. Right, so what do we need? We need pretty peacock. Now it's time to do the label. So... This is take two doing the label because I made a wee boo-boo with the first one. Don't ask. <laughs> okay, so we want a piece of pretty peacock. We want a piece of the designer series paper that coordinates with it, the same one that we've used. Now, I've punched it horizontally um, because I want to use... Um, let me see what sentiment was I going to use. What had I packed? Wishing you a season of cheer. Now, this isn't going to fit completely on there. So what I'll do is I'll part stamp it and then I'll clean it and then I'll part stamp the other bit. Okay, so we want to do wishing you a season of and then we'll do cheer afterwards. So just very um, carefully... Add ink to the bits that you want. Okay. Oh, let's see. Wishing you a... Okay, so I'm going to stamp that on. Season of. Look at that. And then we'll do the cheer. And hopefully it'll work. Probably easier using a bigger block, to be honest, folks. I'm just um, being a little tad bit lazy. Wishing you a season of cheer. <gasps> Look how easy that is. So there's a nice little tip for you. If your um, stamping area is a little bit smaller, you can always do that. Part stamp and part stamp. Right. Now. Do I want anything else on here? No, I don't. So we are finished with the ink. If you wanted, you could add some of this around there. Now, I did use Lost Lagoon because it does complement um, Pretty Peacock pretty well. And this is um, a Lost Lagoon ribbon. I'm sure it is. At least my eyes are deceiving me. Right, so... What we want to do is... We want to stick these two together. Okay, so... Just a little bit of this adorable stamping seal. Very, 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 very handy. Pop that there. We're going to get our uh, trio punch, which is this one. Okay. Now, if you're not sure where it's going to punch, you can switch it over just to kind of make sure um, that you're not punching through any of the text or, or what have you. So... Right, bring this back in. We're now ready to pop it all together. Okay. 
So we're going to put the tag up there. I'm going to tie a loose knot. Okay, now you might need to man manipulate it ever so slightly just to keep it where you want it. And then we're going to tie a bow. These would be good for um, crafting with kids or, or a little project for a class. Okay, so there we go. Now, I don't need that ribbon as big on that side. And there is a little gift. Now, I think it needs some bling. Bling, yeah, bling, bling, bling. What bling do I want? Oh, hang on. I am just literally about to drop all of my candy canes out of my little bag. I must have knocked them over. My desk is an absolute mess just now. They would be so disappointed in me. Right, where is these gems? Ta-da! These are perfect. Tinsel gems. Three colours in a pack. Uh, over 150 of them. <clears throat> and trust me, it takes a long time to get through them. Right, so what do I need? I need my pokey tool. Oops. I'm going to use these ones here. Okay, so I'll just pop one there. Um, I think I'll use a blue as well. One there. And... Yeah, I think that's enough. Two's plenty. I know it's um, usual rules. Saint, um, gems and multiples of three, but I'm happy with that. So, there is our little gift idea. Now, you can pick up these little... Um, toiletries for relatively cheap um, ex um, the gift of giving does not need to be expensive at festive time and for Christmas um, so yeah so just to recap that was our festive the next um, blog uh, sorry video hope for Smithy Stampers is 9th of December so it's always the second Saturday in the month at 8 o'clock in the evening. New Beginnings is a theme for December's one. If you are interested in joining my team, um, please go to smithystampers.co.uk and you will see the current joining offer. Which reminds me, I do need to update that page because the October joiner offer is now finished because we're now in November already. So, like I say, please do um, visit the other hops. Um, details in the description box for those uh, YouTube videos. Please do subscribe, like and share when you can. Uh, turn on the notification bell as well if you like what you see. And uh, yeah, thanks for visiting and I'll leave you to go on to the next hop. See you later.